we're going to need mainly three things for this at the start. You're going to need a shell, you're going to need some clay, and then a sculpting tool, and maybe a little bit of water if you want to blend out the edges and make sure that they're really neat. So I'm going to start off with a shell and flip it over. And then next what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be taking small pieces of clay and slowly layering that on top of the shell and then blending it out. And you want to keep doing this until you've covered the whole shell. Once everything's been blended out, I'm going to be taking the sculpting tool. I'm going to take something that has little ridges in it so it leaves some lines while I wind around it. And I'm trying to imitate the same shape as the shell. So the same way that it starts, right in the very corner, we're going to start curling that around and follow the shape of the shell. And then once I've done that, I'm just going to wait for everything to dry. So you want to leave it overnight, preferably. Before you leave it to dry you need to make sure of two things. First make sure that the edges are completely covered and that they blend in nicely into the shell because otherwise there is quite a high chance that these are going to catch on things and chip later on. And then the last thing you want to do is just press it down hard on the surface so that you create a little bit of a stand for it to sit on and that way it won't rock back and forth once you've finished and it can just sit quite solidly on the desk or wherever else you want to put it. And after it's dried, the day after, I'm going to be using some black acrylic paint and you're just going to paint the whole thing black. Once that's all been painted, the edges included, I'm going to put it face down over something just to keep it upright so it won't get paint on anything else. And then once it's dry, I'm going to start taking a little bit of nail varnish remover and a cotton bud, and I'm just going to use this to remove the paint which has gone on the shell. So if you're a little bit worried about not being able to get the edge absolutely perfectly, don't worry about it, just cover the edge of the shell and then afterwards go over with some nail varnish remover and a cotton bud and it will easily lift off. And then the last thing I'm going to be doing apart from varnishing it when I finished, is use a gold marker pen and I'm going to be outlining the whole shell. And then on the actual shell itself, I'm just going to randomly doodle and do a few flowers and pretty much draw whatever kind of pattern you want. You could leave this plain, you could do something a little bit more elaborate, anything you want really. And once that's all done, I'm just going to give it two coats of varnish to make sure that the paint won't come off later on. And that's it, you're done.